fuck is wrong with this thing? Yeah, you see that? Always, man. Always. I knew something was going to happen at this corner. Let's get camp started. Something was gonna happen one of these days, and it did. Hey, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Double honors to the apostle, elders of great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Achimu and Christians who are in all honesty and activity worldwide. And it's sincere, shall the world be elect. Down as well. away from me, man. I ain't got nothing for them, and I ain't got nothing for you. Don't ass man. Stay your ass where your ass is supposed to be, bitch. We're not no friends. <laughs> All of a sudden, she won't come this way. Usually, she goes up the street, right? one of my oldest daughter's friends. Like, usually she's going up the street. What the hell are you doing over here? You know? <sighs> These people, man. Get into this real quick. I had something lined up. Let's get into this real quick. Because all these people out here, they think the Bible's for them and the world, you know? The famous scripture, John 3.16, you know, that God so loved the world that he uh, gave his only begotten son. What world is that? That's the world of Israel, okay? So this word didn't come for the whole world. It only came for Israelites, all right? And, you know, these Christians, these wacky-tacky plantation Christians, They'll tell you that, you know, just believe in him. You know, with all that prosperity doctrine bullshit, just believe in him and everything will be all right. Well, that's bullshit, man, because the Lord said he didn't come to do away with the law, statutes, commandments. He only came to fulfill, you know. So let's get into this real quick. You know, our job, our job is a heavy job, man. Okay. We come to prophesy. We come to give you warning, you know. You don't want to listen, you want to laugh, you want to smirk, you want to think it's funny. Well, the Lord's going to get your ass in that day, man. You know, many, many, many prophets have gone into many countries, many towns and brought the word. And people scoff, scorn, you know, even Israel laughed at the idea that, oh, we're the Lord's chosen people, you know. So anyways, let's get into this real quick. 
So we, we give you a warning of future events to come, prophecy, you know, of things to come. Jeremiah chapter 30 and 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but ye shall be saved out of it. And the only ones who are going to be saved out of it is the elect, not the whole house of Israel, okay? So we're giving you a warning about these things that are coming to pass. Now you look around in the news, and you see those people down south in America there, they're going, they're going uh, uh, ape shit, man. Race wars are knocking right at the door. Food shortages are, are knocking right at the door. The housing prices are, are skyrocketing through the roof, you know? Jake, Jake can hardly afford anything out there. That's why they got rob, steal, kill, do all types of treachery, right? Because the man, you know, Esau, Edom, Isaiah, let me get that real quick. You know, you, you, you two thirds, you need people like us to speak these words, man. Because without us, hey, without Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we're dead. Say it like that. But without him sending his prophets out in the highways and byways, you wouldn't know what's going on. Okay? You'd be still thinking that uh, JC, which is really Yahweh Shai, is a so-called white man. Okay? You'd be thinking the Heavenly Father is a so-called white man. Okay? But the Lord revealed that uh, his spirit onto his servants, the prophets, just like in Ezekiel, you hear those dry bones, you know? You hear those dry bones that the Most High breathed back that breath into. Now we're standing upon our feet like an exceeding great army. Okay? So going into this, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Woe unto them that declare our righteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these draconian laws being handed out now is a future thing that they're setting up. They're using gradualism. One thing that you see happening right now too is the American dollar disappearing slowly, but slowly, but slowly, but surely. And then after that, they have their digital money being introduced. The so-called Chinese got the the UN, the digital UN. If I'm not, oh, no, I think that's a, a, let me see something real quick. We'll just type it up real quick. I can't remember, I can't remember if that's the name of theirs or if that's the name of um, China's. Because it sounds like fucking kind of Chinese. Yeah, Fed's digital currency. Uh, yeah, here we go. Eagle, the fuck? Oh, that was their first. That was their first attempt at this back in 2008. Eagle was the first widely used internet money introduced in 1996, and it grew to seven million users before the U.S. government shut it down in 2008. Oh, snap! So since 2000. Since um, 1996, man, and then they shut it down in um, 2008. Ego has been referred to as digital currency, both by U.S. officials and academia. What the, hell? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. I'm trying to get the name, man. What's the name of it? It's not popping up here, man. I'm pretty sure it was called the UN or something like that. Let me see something. Not finding it here, but I'm, um, anyways. 
you get the point, you get the picture. So through these um, unrighteous decrees, they're cracking down slowly on this system and they're introducing a digital dollar, okay? And that digital dollar is gonna be, uh, be scrutinized, it's gonna be watched. Every movement that you make, everything that you make online and all these things, these transactions, it's all gonna be, um, it's all gonna be um, tracked, okay? It'll be easy to know. You pass money to Tom, Tom pass money to Fred, Fred went to the store, bought ice cream. Oh, um, the, the, uh, Sobeys or No Frills or whatever the fuck, they paid you so and so amount of money. You took that money and you sent it straight to, uh, your, 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 your landlord to pay off 250. They'll have all records, man. At any time they want to, like I said, they shut it down in 2008, right? So anytime the government wants to shut down your shit, they can close off your bank account like that. Just turn it right off. All right? So going back to Jeremiah chapter 30 and 7, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And like I said, the elect are going to be saved out of it. Okay? And those times, it's going to be tragic, man. It's going to be harsh times. All right? It's going to be a, 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 a time like you've never seen before, man. And when we speak these words, people in the world think we're joking. Think it's a joke, you know? It's not no damn joke. When these things start to happen and start to fall upon you, what are you going to do in that day? Who are you going to run for? Who are you going to scream to? You're going to scream to JC? That's what we thought. But like I said, in that day, you're going to have... What the fuck? I see him, bro. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Anyways, in that time, you're gonna have all this tra tra tragedy happening, and these people are gonna know what angle, where it coming from. What, what do I do? You know? Hey, what does it tell you, Amos? Amos chapter five and eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness, not light. Okay? That day is going to be a, a different day, man. It's not going to be the same as one of these regular days that you, you be in. Okay? It's going to be a different day. Okay? It's going to be a day of, uh, uh, like, you know, as we would say, the chicken with the head cut off, running around. That's how it's going to be. It's not going to be a nice day, man. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very dark, no brightness in it? Right. And in that day, there was going to be no brightness in it, man. You two-third Jake, you bug outs, you're going to be suffering. Because we're giving you a warning. We're telling you what's about to happen. None of y'all want to listen. You think it's a damn joke. Skinny your teeth, laughing, you know? <laughs> Look at those stupid Israelites. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. We like that, you know? We like that. And the Lord likes that too. That's why we say keep that same energy in that day, you know? You want to talk all that smack? Go ahead. Keep talking all that smack. Keep that energy in the same day that Yahweh Shimei Hashem returns, man. So going back to Jacob's trouble, you know, the, the believers, they're going to come down hard on us, okay? Oh, yes. They're going to come down hard, all right? Don't think that, that's why we always tell you this. The apostle elders always ask you, starting with the apostle elders, the elders, the brothers, you know, those who understand what they're involved in, they always ask you, do you individuals get what you're involved in? Do you understand what you're involved in? And, you know, as you grow and progress, you get to learn what you're involved in, okay? Second Ezra chapter 16. Seven, second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great interaction upon those that fear the Lord 
They should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay. The pressure is going to be on us. The real pressure is going to be on us, man. Because they're going to know. They're going to have your videos. They're going to be like, look, this guy's an Israelite. He was out there. He was doing the work. We saw, look, here's your video. They're going to sit you down. Boop. Watch your own video. Look, look what you're saying. That was like, uh, reminds me of Peter. When the when Yahweh Shai said, hey, when the cop probe, you're going to deny me. And Peter did, right? Yo, that day is going to be a, a, a heavy day, man. You know? Because imagine, they're going to be looking. They're going to be like, yeah, these guys are serving the Israelites. Get them, yo. Those were the guys, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round them up. Round them up. We got some questions for them, you know? It's not going to be nice, man. That's why the apostle elders, going back to what I was saying, they always ask you, do you know what you're involved in? Do you know what's coming down the pipe? Because they read the prophecies. They tell you, this is what's coming down the pipe. This is what's about to happen. You know, prepare thy soul. Hey, when you come to serve the Lord, you're going to, hey, your whole life is going to do this. You turned upside down, around, and, and that's the most high washing you, making you good. Okay? Because for him to trust you with this wisdom, he's got to put you through a magnet, uh, 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 a magnitude of things, man. You got to go through a lot, okay? When you come to serve your Yahweh, show me Shai. It's not going to be no easy ride. He ain't just going to hand you secrets. Brothers ain't going to give you deep breakdowns without you attentive, you know? You have to be attentive. Now we got to try your spirit, right? And that's all through the Most High. The Most High is going to try your spirit. It's gonna put you through things. Okay? You're not gonna this is not no walk where you come up here and you get to learn all this truth and you ain't going through no hell. And you get to seem like some big no 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 no. <laughs> You're gonna be dragged through the dirt. Okay? This happened to all of us. You're gonna be put through situations. Alright? But our main thing is to come on here and push these prophecies and tell you, you know, what's gonna happen in the future. That only makes sense. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the basic breakdowns and whatnot, yeah, that's great. Those are great, but uh, you got to speak prophecy sometimes and incorporate all of that in, inside of what we're doing, you know? Speak it out here on the, on the corner. So, yeah, there, there, you know, in that day, there's going to be a great clamping down on us, okay? And don't expect us to be always out here on these highways and byways speaking this word. Because the Lord himself said that there's going to come a day where I'm going to send a famine in the land, not of bread, not of water, not of thirst, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. These words are precious, complete, 100% precious, man. Let's get that real quick. 1 Samuel chapter 3 and 1. And the child Samuel ministered unto Yahweh before Eli. And the word of Yahweh was precious in those days. There was no open vision. Just like the word is precious now. Okay? If you don't have this word installed in you, from birth or now or whatever, if you don't have this word installed in you, ten times more than likely you're bugging out in the world, man. You're flipping out. You're going crazy. Okay? Your neighbor says something to you. Ah, yeah. You know, you flip over the tables and all types of shit. You know? Somebody says something to you. You go crazy. You go ape shit. You know, you're watching the TV, you throw the fucking remote at the TV, you get vexed at the TV. If you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shim Yahushai within you today, you know, this hour, this minute, more than likely you're bugging out and you are a bug out, okay? Because this word keeps a hedge around you, keeps your mind sharp, keeps you uh, thinking and focused on what's going on, leading back to prophecy, okay? Because guess what? We got to keep ourselves in a good light we gotta keep ourselves in a good walk we can't be uh just like uh somebody who's an ex you know they deal with exercising and whatnot and then one day they just stop and then there's this big uh big thing coming and they go to perform and they blow out muscles because we got constant you know we got constantly in this like that that's why we speak these prophecies out here and give you these breakdowns like we do because it's part of our sharpening, right? And guess what? We have to speak these words. What the hell is that? 
gotta speak these words, man. This goose out here is standing up, is listening to the word of y'all. <laughs> but like I said, that keeps us sharp. There's no open vision. The rest of our brothers right now, we tapped in, right? So we relate to each other. We keep, you know, pick up the line as they would say. The apostle held us put on a video, pick up the line, listen. The brothers down here in Toronto, they put, pick up the line and listen. Brothers in Chicago, Boston, wherever it may be, you know, we keep sharp by listening to our brothers and, you know, pass the word around. As the, as the scriptures say that uh, uh, a righteous man hear this word, he's going to commend onto it and add on to it, right? So we know this word is precious and this world don't have this word, all right? Let's go to Acts chapter 5 and 38. This is what happened to the disciples. How much more us, all right? Going back from 2 Ezra 16 and uh, 70. Shall be a great insurrection, right? Acts chapter five and verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For this counsel or work be of men, it will come to naught. And we know this work right here that's going on in the world. This is not of men. This is of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And that's how we know that it's not going to come to naught. Okay? But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it. See? These happily be found even to fight against God. And to him, and to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them and commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they that they that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay. So that's how that's the spirit that we're coming in. Okay. And look, the apostles were beaten. How much more us, man? There's going to be beheadings. There's going to be uh, people put to death. Remember, Trump wants to bring back the firing squad. These things that are about to pop off is not no joke, man. It's not no joke. Okay? Look, these two jakes at the gas station, man. They're looking at each other like they want to kill each other, man. It's, it's the curses. You don't see the white man doing that. You don't see the Chinese man doing that. You don't see the Indian man doing that. You don't see none of them doing it except for us. Okay? They all looking at each other like they post up ready to fire off on each other. Damn. And you tell me that's not the curses. You know? So now, you see how you see what happened to the apostles, right? Peter and all of them. Hey, these things are gonna happen. Why does that play look like it's descending, bro? Distracted, but that plane, I've been having them dreams about planes. For, oh, last night, I had a nice dream, man. Big chariot, couldn't even get my phone out. And then the, sp the spirit was like, the spirit was like, don't even, don't even record it. Just, it's just for your eyes to see and tell to the brotherhood. Man, I see this huge ass chariot in the dream, man. Akio, when I tell you this chariot was huge, this chariot descended, and all the people were standing around. We could see. Well, we were looking at it out the window. First, we were in, in my backyard. We were looking out at it. And we could see it. We we're like, yo, what the fuck? What is that? We came outside. And I knew what it was. I had my phone in my pocket. And the spirit was like holding back my hand like this. Like, don't, don't even record it. And I wanted to show it to the Aki and put it up, you know? But there's things, you know, some things, you know, that has to be just for those people around at that time at that present time so I didn't record it I seen it I go ah, I don't know what that is that's the chariots of Israel <laughs> it was huge man first it came through the sky like it's like this like a cloudy day man and it came through the sky where you could see the lights you start to see the lights illuminate off of it and that way it started, it started to spin and you knew that's a chariot and the bottom of it there was a big glowing light at the bottom, as usual, you know, you see 
lights on the side, rim around it, and then underneath the bottom, there's a, there's a light. Man, yapa, man, yapa, 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 man. I love, hey, man, every time I got a chariot dream, dreams are just dream, but hey, man, they keep, it's a faith booster, you know? Hey, Swan, or G3 doing that, you just the world? Fall asleep or something? <laughs> Let's go into another scripture. So, hey, yeah, go off relating off that chariot and relating off the apostles being beaten, Peter and whatnot, right? And the time of great insurrection of them coming down upon us. Let, let, let's get this real quick. Second Ezra, because we gotta remember. We, we, we know what we're in this too for, you know. We want them crowns. We want to be serving Yahweh Shem Shai. We want to be found worthy of that, right? Second Ezra chapter 2 and 47. So he answered me and said, on, and said unto me, It is the Son of God whom they have confessed in the world, which we are not ashamed of this doctrine. Romans chapter 1 and 16, right? It is unto salvation to the Jew first and then the Greek. We know that's going into Helen, Helene, you know, lost Israelites. But let's get back into this. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Right, and that's what we're doing out here on these highways and byways. Ten toes down as brothers say, you know. Romans tell us that we're making our body a living sacrifice unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Judges 5 and 11, rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping those high holy days, trying to please the Lord to the best of our ability, right? So that's all a part of standing stiff, right? Your, 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 your father don't like you, your mother don't like you, your, your sister don't like you, your brother don't like you, your uh, employer don't like you, all these people don't like you because you're pushing the word of God, you believe in God, all right? That's why you're standing so stiffly. Without that, then it's like, what, what, what's, what's the point, you know? There's always gonna be opposition. Let, let, them, let them oppose against us, we don't care. Go ahead. But one thing we're always gonna do is stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You can give a rat's ass what you think. You can care about what we, oh yo, you can't, you can't say that, you can't be like that. Where's your love? Hey, what does the scripture tell you about love, okay? So we don't care, you can approach, you can try and do your little scare tactics, you can try everything. We're going to stand stiff for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We're not going to bend and fold. No, 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 no. We're going to stand stiff for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you think, regardless of what our parents, sisters, and brothers, we don't give a rat's ass, man. We got work to do, okay? Have you not heard that this word is, is, is able to save your soul, man? Save you? Save you for what? The prophecies that we continually come out here and speak. All right? Sometimes you gotta, you know, and look, 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 look what we're gonna go through. Revelation 3 and 10. Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the world. So that's right. And what's gonna happen? That digital money in what I'll say is gonna be swept for. Look. The U.S. Is, is, is pulling currency out and want to make that digital currency increase. All the world is doing this. That's why you see Ethereum, Bitcoin, all these things becoming popular because they're pushing it in that direction. And guess what? The men, the Lord, that have eyes out, that have that ability to see, we're coming out here, we're prophesying this onto you, regardless of if you like it or not. But guess what? We're going to stand stiff upon what the, what the Lord has... Uh, enclosed in us man we believe this word with a passion that's why we're out here we don't care who sees us moms aunts uncles i don't care we got work to do okay so going back into that and what do we and what behold let me uh because thou has kept the word of my patience i also keep thee from the hour of temptation now what's going to come upon the whole world to try the whole world? We're going through that digital age, like I said. Let's go to this real quick. Revelation 13. 
Revelation 13 and 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score, and six. So, this is what's going to come upon the whole world. That karagma. Okay? The emtom. Okay? Because you're not going to be able to buy and sell without it. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to buy and sell. We're there, we're there. These people are to just drive by and they give the God wave, you know. Keep doing that work. <laughs> yeah, we gonna keep doing this work. Guess what, man? Do you guys know what we're involved in? You know, you you, you might think that we all here preaching some, um, you know, uh, Geo Jennings doctrine or some shit like that. Nah, nah, Just something that you never heard before. But anyways, this is what. Um, Going back to Revelation 13, uh, Revelation 3 and 10 was referring to. Okay? See right there? You see the bird auction? Look, look, once it's, it's showtime. <laughs> no, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. But anyways. So yeah, this is what we're, um, speaking against you know this is why we're standing ten toes down because we know the prophecies are written we know the things are about to come to pass and it's not going to be nice you know it's not going to be nice <laughs> so we're giving you warning from the lord man whether you you want to listen or not that's that's all right ezekiel chapter 3 and verse uh, 17, Son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. And what are we doing? We're speaking his words. It says what? Son of man, Ezekiel 3 and 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. Right. So we're speaking with the words of Yahweh Shem Shai unto you. He said, give them warning from my mouth. That's what we're doing. Okay. That's why we're out here giving the warning and prophecy. Because we gotta warn the people, right? Yep. I was gonna say, uh, we can go get that real quick. Romans chapter one. Uh Romans chapter one and fifteen. So as much as in me is I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. That's Israelites, first of all, and chiefly the elect. To the Jew first, and also to the Greek. When you go into that word Greek, it's going to go into Helen. Hellenus. That's an Israelite that, that will not. That's an Israel either. You know, because you had some Israelites that are born in foreign countries, the strangers, whatnot, and they didn't know they were Israelites. Then you had some that were born and knew that they were Israelites and rejected the fact, just like today, uh, some of these people out here, we, we approach and we tell them, you know, you're Israel. You know, oh, I used to be part of that Israelite stuff. I ain't no Israelite. I ain't no Israelite. And then you got, you know, the ones that are just born and they're still thinking that, no, nah, they're American, they're Negro. All of that stuff there, okay? So it goes deep. So anyways, let's get out of that now. Let's go to uh, this word and these secrets and this preciousness is only for Israel. This ain't for the rest of the world. 
there. Uh, 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 you know, they want to say that popular belief. How do you say it? Do the um, po uh, unpopular or popular belief. Well, however you say it, man. But, no, this word didn't come for the whole world, man. As, as a matter of fact, let's get this real quick. Second Ezra chapter 12 and verse 36. Thou only has been meek to know the secret of the highest. Speaking to the Israelite, okay? Now speaking to the world, okay? Not to these other nations, not to Moab, not to none of them. This is speaking to the Israelite. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them. Remember, this Bible is not being published like how it's published today, where it's in everybody's house. This word here is only for Yashra Allah. It wasn't for the whole world. So Israelites were the ones really supposed to have this. And when you go into like Cyrus and Xerxes and stuff, even they, at a certain point, had to check the records. Because, you know, we had some people trying to uh, tell lies upon us, right? And even they searched the records and saw what we were saying. Okay? But this book here was for Israel. It's not for the rest of the world. This is an Israelite book only, okay? And that's what people get fucked up. They, oh, you guys are racist. Well, the Lord is racist. Look up the word race. It goes into Raza, a tribe, a nation, a people, okay? God damn. And teach them to the wise of thy people. See, teach them. To who? And teach them to the wise of thy, of the people. Of whose people? Our people. Okay? Not the rest of the fucking world. Alright? Not everybody in every nick and cranny. Everybody, um, in, in so-called, uh, we go to China, we teach them there. We go to Rome, we teach them there. No, 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 no. And teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend to keep these secrets right and we weren't mingling and walking amongst many different big groups or what no we're trying to chill with our own kind right so this word was for us it wasn't for the rest of the world so let's go into another scripture here let's go into an example here in second Kings 17. Let's see who they had to go get. Let's see who they had to go get when the lions were attacking these people. Remember, the Lord kicked Israel out of these lands, right? And then he brought strangers and put them in this land. Let's see who he brought to uh brought in to teach the people. Let's go to uh 2 Kings 17 and 28. Then one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in Bethel and taught them how they should fear how they should fear Yahweh. Okay? So right there, they took a man, an Israelite man, a priest, brought him back in there to teach the people how to serve Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Right? This is where, you know, this and John, John Harkanus, this is where a lot of these people get this mixed up because those people that were serving the Lord, all right? They were serving him under a situation. Meaning, lions came into that land and tore those people up. And they didn't know what to do. They had to go to a man of Israel to have that stop, okay? To show them the right way, right? So once again, going into this, this is only for Israel, okay? And then with the time of John Harkinus, okay, these people got beat so bad, just like us today, right? These people got beat so bad and they had to humble themselves down, right? And they themselves, after a while, because they're taught the ways, right? They're under uh, restraint. They are slaves, basically, okay? And they, they actually, you know, 
kept it to the best of their ability. And some of them came out actually thinking that they're Israelites. Look at Herod. You know, chocolate, chocolate Edomites. So, a man of Israel was needed and required to, to uh, you know, stop the lion from coming in and destroying these people, right? So this is only, it wasn't nobody from anywhere else. A man of Israel, okay? We all know Psalms 147. Let's get that real quick. Psalms 147 and 19, he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. They have not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Yahweh. Right? These other nations have not known the, the ways of the Lord, like how we've known the ways of the Lord. Right? They're not set up to serve the Lord. We were set up to serve the Lord. All these laws, statutes, commandments were given unto us. They weren't given unto these other nations. These other nations have their way, okay? And they have their pleasure in sin all year round. They do wickedness all, they're made to be the wicked, okay? And we were set up to be the righteous. The Lord said in Sirach chapter 18 and three, that he made that separation between us, between the profane, between the profane and the, uh, Sirach chapter 18, in verse three, yeah, he, he, he made a he made a split difference between the profane and the righteous, man. We're the righteous; they're profane. They're off. They're the wicked, man. They, you know, love wickedness. Esau, Edom, and these nations in between, they just all hell hell screwed up. They just fucked up. They, that's the way the Lord made them. Bottom line. So they can't help but do wickedness as well too, you know? And like, like all those nations there, really they need a leader to, to guide them, a proper leader, okay? Because they don't really have good leaders. They, you know, they're in a better state than us. They got a country, they got a, a way and all this stuff. We're fucked up. Look at 2 3rd Jake, they fuck, like, like I was saying, at the gas station. Them niggas are looking at each other ready to kill each other, right? So all these nations, they have it good, except for us. We're at the bottom. But guess what? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he gave on to us is for us, man, not for them. They have their ways, their, 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 their long set gone, man. What we have to do is turn back and serve you. How about Shimei Oshai? All right? Yup. Let's go to Amos. Chapter 3. And verse 1, hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you all for your, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right? And the Lord right now is passing judgment on us, passing, you know, well, we're going through what we're going through. Lord willing, we be of the elect. But two thirds, what they're going through is a whole nother game, man. They don't even know who the fuck they are. And they can't even see what we're talking about. When we're telling you about all the, the, the prophecies and the things that are coming to pass and all these things, fuck you. When we're telling you about all these things that are coming to pass and all these things that shall come to pass and everything on the in-betweens, guess what? It's coming to pass and it's gonna happen. The Lord didn't set us up out here just to see it his words and be a liar no the lord is not a liar he's not the author of confusion either that's why we have faith and put our trust into yahweh bashim yahushai you all put your trust into lying words okay <coughs> y'all can't you could even judge your own damn toes Jeremiah chapter 8 and 9. The wise men are ashamed. They, they are dismayed and took him. Lo, they have rejected the word of Yahweh, and what wis and what wisdom is in them? None. Because remember, Yahweh Shai said, uh, 
Yahweh said in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. Okay? And all these wise men of the world will be taken. There is no wicked, there is no wisdom with them. And, the, and it also tells you that the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom at any time. All these things that they got set up in the name of wickedness, all these unrighteous decrees, all these things, that is not wise, man. That has nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That has everything to do with the world and with what the world wants, right? Yeah, you're going to be taken. You're going to be ashamed. Yeah, you rejected the, 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 the word, man. Jeremiah 44 and 16. Okay? Actually. Jeremiah 44 and 16. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Yahweh, we will not hearken unto thee. Bottom line. And then it goes on to tell you what they'll do. The whatsoever cometh out of their mouth and in a bird. Uh, incense to the queen of heaven they're gonna have those uh, uh you know worldly 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 set mind on them man you know even uh in egypt man numbers 11 and 5 they cried for the garlics and the leeks which they remembered in egypt you're, you're in bondage and you're fucking you, you you can't have no good time bro you're in bondage But yet, you want to reject the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You think that, you know, this isn't real. That's why the Bible comes with prophecy. That's why we say these things before it's about to happen. That's like a father telling his child, listen, you keep trying to play with those snakes, man. One day, one of them's going to bite you. And one of them might be even poisonous. And the kid keeps slapping around, playing with snakes. And the dad says, listen, I've given you warning. <laughs> I've been warning you about these things that you're doing one day you're gonna drop dead off of this shit man and the next thing you know what happens the kid keeps playing around with fucking snakes boom the father gets a phone call hey your son is in the hospital what uh, yeah you better rush here real quick it's not looking too good father gets there what happened son i was playing around with the snakes and one of them was poisonous and it bit me not even just one two of them <laughs> and that's what that's what's gonna happen man you guys are going to feel the blunt end. You remember Amos chapter 5 and 18. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. You guys haven't been storing up your riches. You haven't been doing anything right. But yet, you talk about you want salvation. You're going to get salvation. All right. That's what you think. You guys are full of jokes, man. Jeremiah chapter 7 and verse 8. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Right? You trust in this society. You trust in the man. You trust in Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You trust in all these fucking different nations before you're trusting fucking, um, before you're trusting in, in, your, in your brothers. Okay? That's what you'll do. You'll trust in these other people. You'll go, go join hand in hand with the so-called white man. Sit down with him. He'll tell you, try it. It's good. And you know what? You'll try it. You'll like it. And you'll say, oh, yeah, it's good. But on to us, yeah, hey, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? No, we we well sharp. Well sharpened in the scriptures, man. You know? But you guys in the world, you're not well sharpened. Look, I don't know what's up with this brother, y'all. But them pants is way too tight. Y'all gonna see. But, like the Lord said, you've trusted in lying words, man. So... You know, the Lord has something lined up for your ass at the end of the day, man. You want to trust in lying words? We're out here giving you the real. We're out here giving you the uh, true true words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Ezekiel 3 and 17, right? Ezekiel chapter 3 and 4, right? Well, yeah, you reject it. You say, well, we're not going to listen to this, Yahweh. That's like uh, Pharaoh. That's in the, uh, Pharaoh did that. In uh, Exodus chapter 5 and 2, he said, Who is this Yahweh that I must listen? That's the same way with you people, man. And we got persecuted and scattered because he didn't want to listen to the word which was prescribed to you. He didn't want to listen to prophecy. 
right? You didn't want to listen to the warning. So guess what? Israel ended up playing the whore, right? Ended up playing the bitch, the slut, right? And look what the Lord did for that. Baruch chapter 4 and 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath. You were delivered unto, unto the enemies. For ye provoke him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not God. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. That's terrible, man. And you how about Shem Yahweh Shai know it? You know? All you people you want to act like you don't, you know, you want to act like you know everything. You just came, Buster. You ain't even been here on this earth for what, 30 years? And you want to act like you know? Shut the fuck up and keep it moving, jackass. You know? That's what I said with the so-called white man. They ain't nothing but trash, man. Niggers of the earth. That's exactly what they are. You know? But anyways, going back into this. You guys want to be a whore onto your how about Shimei Shai? You want to go a whoring. You want to do things that Yahweh said, don't do that, don't do this, just like the kid, right? He said, don't do that, don't do this, the snake's gonna bite you. He, he went to the hospital, damn near fucking three snakes bit the kid. Or two snakes, whatever, how many, I, hey, you can fill in for the story, you can add more snakes. <laughs> you can add more venomous snakes in there. But that's, that's just it. We gave you the warning, you don't wanna listen. When that uh, catastrophe comes down like a swelling breach upon you, Isaiah, what is that, 29 or something like that? When that befalls you, don't come running to us. Don't come to us like we're doctors to help you. We're not going to help you. We've given you the word. We've given you prophecy. We've given you warning. But all you did was smirk, laugh, smile, point the finger, say this, say that, you know. Hey, we ain't going to... Soon enough, the Lord's going to take us off these streets, man. Soon enough, there will be no camp session uh, on the side of the road the only time you're going to see that is if you're there with the brothers because there's going to be a time where they cut the fucking internet so you got to remember I keep all these things into account the Lord is not playing no damn games man he's about to knock the ball out of the park okay okay so anyways going back into this you Israelites played the whore man played the whore okay Hey man, you guys playing a whore, you a dirty wife. Fucking cold a little bit right here, man. So let's go into this real quick as well. Um playing the slut, playing the whore, man. Let's go to this what Manasseh did. He made our people do more evil and more wicked than these other nations, man. Terrible. Second Kings 21 and 9. But they hearkened not, and Manasseh seduced them to do, to do more evil than the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the children of Israel. Right there, playing the whore. What the Lord say, when you destroy them, do not go in and inquire after their gods. Don't go and say, hey, how'd their gods work? I'd like to try this. Hey, pass me that, you know? Let me get to this real quick. Deuteronomy 12, you can start from 28. Deuteronomy 12 and 30. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. After that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Right. And that's a snare onto you. That's a trap. But like I said, two thirds they can't see. They're up shit's creek. Okay? And the Lord's prophets, we're right here telling you, Lord willing that we be of the elect, we're right here giving you that warning, but you're not listening. You're going deeper down the rabbit hole. You know? Jeremiah chapter 7 and 16. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up prayer nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. 
See? And it goes on to tell you, you see what they're doing in the streets? The fathers kindle the fire. The, the, the fathers kindle the fire. The, the, the children gather the wood. And the woman need her dough to the queen of heaven. Right? So you don't see what's happening? They can't see what's happening. You know why? Because the spirit of the Lord is not in them. They're just dust. Dust and blood, man. Why is dust and ashes so proud? Right? Why is dust and ashes so proud? Because that's what they are. And that's what they're going to be at the end of the day. And it also tells you that too. That uh, you need to lift up sword. Any, uh, nor any instrument. But on the end, what was to perceive was, was, was nothing but dust, man. Dust and ashes, man. <laughs> and Lord will that we don't be those dust and ashes. Lord will that we're actually saved by Yahweh by Shem my little My little geese friend is back there. Shem Yahweh. Falling asleep. Is... I'm playing. But anyways. Oh, yeah. See how they played the whore. Let's go into Hosea chapter 2. Hosea 2 and 5. For their mother hath played the harlot. She that conceived them have done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread and my water and uh, slakia, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with thorns and make a wall and make a wall that she will not find her path. And she will follow after her lovers, but she will not overtake them. And she will seek them, but she will not find them. Then she will say, I will go return to my first husband. For then it was better with me than now. Ha. Huh. Hey, what do we tell you? We tell you in Isaiah chapter 50 that you're you're what? You're married unto the Lord, man. You understand? But no, Israel, they're, they're fucked up in the head. They don't have the understanding of that. That you're actually married unto the Lord. How could we be married unto? As a people, you're married unto the Lord, man. He wants you. He requires you. Right? He looks at Israel as a, a, a calmly woman. But not in this state that we're in. You know? In this state, you know, Israel is acting right now as a whorish woman. Right? Betraying her husband. But you're going to run back to your... <laughs> yeah, does any man want a woman that's been running around playing the field? So that's why two-thirds of our people got to get executed, man. And those who've actually begging for begging with all supplication, begging, right? Those ones who are begging and actually doing what the Lord said to do is actually, you know, the elect. Those are the ones that are going to get saved. Those are the ones that salvation is for. Those are the ones that Yahweh Shai handpicked. Those were the ones that were with Yahweh Shai back before the creation of this world, man. Regardless of what anybody out here has to say, we can give a rat's ass. Get it through your thick fucking skull. This word is only for Israel. Salvation is only for Israel. Not for you. Okay? Get it through your thick fucking skull. And we're going to stand boldly every week, every month, every year, okay? Until you how about Shimei Shai returning. Yeah, go read this scripture about how we played, how we played the whore, man. How we played the sud. Slept. Ezekiel chapter 23 and 1. The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother. Uh, this is talking about the northern and southern. And they committed whoredoms in Egypt. They committed whoredoms in their youth. They were, they were, there were their breasts pressed. And they were Asalakia, and they and there they bruised their teats of their virginity come on you gotta know what that's talking about you know what I'm saying so regardless of what you're saying the, the law Yahweh has all our fuck ups has everything right there and we're reading it in the scriptures we're going back to consult in the uh, records okay and we're reading them in the scriptures but guess what 
Israel is saying no. I'm not listening to that. I'll do whatever that coming out of my mouth. I don't need to listen. Who is this Yahweh? You guys just woke up. What are you talking about? I don't know. Rebellious, rebellious, rebellious people, man. Tells you that this is a rebellious people. Lying children that will not hear the law. You know, the Lord is, 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 is going to ramp up this shit that's about to happen, man. Jacob's trouble? Jacob's trouble? You guys wait and see, man. The Lord is about to ramp this thing up, and we're already at the gates, man. That black horse, we're already at the gates, man. Just wait till that pale horse hit. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 3 and 20. Surely, as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, so he have dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith Yahweh. Right. You went playing the whore. You were married on to the Lord. Okay? As a, as, a, as a people, we're married on to the Lord. And guess what? You went playing the whore. You went playing the harlot. You went searching after these other gods. You went searching after the gods of Elam, the so-called Indian men, the so-called Chinese men, the so-called white men. Okay? You went after all these nations' gods instead of going after your own power. Proverbs chapter 15 and uh, uh, 5 and 15. Drink water out of thine own cistern. But where what would you you drunk that dirty wine, man, that cheap wine. Okay? I just released that video. Two-thirds drunk off of cheap wine. Drunk off the philosophies of this, of this world. That's why you've drunk it. I mean if the nations realize, because it tells you that the nations realize that they have drunk that wine in Jeremiah. The nation, the nation have drunk the wine and now they're mad because they woken up. They said, what the fuck is this shit? This is cheap wine. <laughs> With all types of uh, elixirs in it, you know? They put a whole bunch of mixed up shit in there, you know? Now I'm drinking it. Oh shit, boom, they wake up. And they, oh fuck this, we ain't drinking this shit no more. These niggas been fucking with us. Now they want their revenge. Just like what the Lord said that shall happen. Okay? So let's go into the scattering. And get into that real quick. Because we were scattered. Alright? We weren't, uh... It's lucky, one second. Yeah, we were scattered. Alright? Well, so you, you, you ain't gonna listen? Alright, watch what I'm gonna do to you. Lord, bud. Bud and bud. Righteous and righteous, though, you know? But well, you want to talk about bad man? Crocodile teeth and all them things there. The Lord really got the real crocodile teeth. That's those nukes, okay? When the Lord let go of those nukes, and you're going to be screaming and crying for, uh, oh, oh, save me, save me. Ain't no saving, ain't no JC. Ain't no white man uh, with blue eyes and blonde hair coming to save your ass. You're going to see a big black man coming out the sky with chariots, man. When you go into that and you see, well, uh, yeah, these people out here are racist. They don't give a shit. Fuck them. And, and, and it's going to be a great thing to see all them burn, all right, and, and, and go down. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. Go cap. These idiots. These guys always knew they were Israelites. And they were always in one part of the world. The Lord, when the Lord said that He's gonna do something, He is going to fucking do it. It's not no joke. It's not no game. It's not no like, oh yeah, maybe. No, He's going to do it. Bottom line. That's the difference between us and y'all. We know through Spirit. Hey, put our faith and trust into the Lord. It may be five years. It may be ten years. It may be twenty years. But the Lord said that He'll do it. Man is always looking for a quick result. Quick, quick action, right? But we know that gradualism and a thousand years to the Lord is as one day, and one day is a thousand years to man here. So the Lord is on a whole different time frame, man. And in in my in man's mind, right? In man's mind, they want things to happen quickly, right? Right away. It doesn't happen, not, not here, it ain't gonna happen. So the Lord rigged it for a reason. And this is the Lord's movie. He wants a nice, long movie, you know? Dramatic, you know? <laughs> a nice, long, dramatic movie, man. Why not? 
and there thou shalt serve other gods, which, uh, let me start over again. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, and Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. That means all people of the world, man, okay? From one end of the earth, even unto the other. That's like what we tell you. From one end, from this peak, all the way to, the, to this side again, all right? And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wooden stone, okay? So this is what the Lord did to us. He scattered us. He scattered us all over the place, all over the world. We're not just in one spot. We're all over the world, okay? Regardless of how you feel, think, oh, no, that's not true. We don't care if you don't think it's true, okay? What does that scripture say? Shall their disbelief make faith go without void? Uh, without void? Nah, man, get the hell out of here. We don't care if you don't have no belief. That's good for you. Don't have no belief. Yeah, we don't care. As a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Is that Romans? Romans chapter 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yea, let, let God be true, and every man a liar, as it is written. Right. So we don't care if you don't believe. If you don't believe, that's your fault. But we believe. That's why you see us out in the streets. That's why you see our faces. Because we're bold. Right? And the Lord has given us the spirit of boldness to speak these words in the face of our uh, uh, adversaries. Okay? Are you guys scared to go out there? Or are you guys... Get the fuck out of here, man. Scared to do what? All we're doing is speaking the words of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which actually, you know, is, a, is a very highly in our eyes, you know, for the world. They're like, ah, oh, they're just speaking the Bible. You know? Hey, what is that? Galatians 4 and 16? Because we tell you the truth, we become your enemy. Which is right. I would rather be an enemy to the world than an enemy to Yahweh Shai. That's for fucking sure. But once again, let's say that again. We would rather be the enemy to the world. Public enemy number one. All right? Let's put our faces on that. Public enemy number one. We'd rather be public enemy number one to the world than to Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Than to Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai Hamashiach? All right? Say that again. I'd rather be public enemy number one. Well, we would rather be public enemy number one to the world. Then to Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, okay, to the Heavenly Father and to the Heavenly Son, okay. Crazy. Psalms 106 and 35. Let me get this. But they were mingled amongst the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols, which were a sneer unto them. Going back to Deuteronomy uh, 12 and 30, right, and also going into Baruch chapter 4 and 6, because you guys didn't want to listen. You say I ain't gotta listen to that shit. That's how you took it. You say, I ain't got to listen to that shit. Fuck y'all. Who the fuck are you? I know you. You, you, your uncle. I know him. And I know. This is how you think. You think very carnally. But you don't remember what the scriptures say. Let me get that real quick. Because you're just looking at us as men. It's all right. Let's see if I'll find this uh, scripture right here real quick. This is it 2 Peter? 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse uh, 2 Peter chapter 1. I will bug out of shit. You see what I mean? Without the knowledge of your how about Shim Yahshai, you'll flip out, man. You'll go crazy. Okay? You'll go after the, the, the wisdom of this world, which is foolishness with the most high. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse uh, 19. Knowing this first, that no prophecy is of. Slack here. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So when the Lord put that spirit on you to know, you're going to know. This isn't something that's sealed up in a vault and only the Vatican know and all this. Hey, get out of here, man. 21, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. This is why you see us out here doing this work. Okay? 
So anyways, going back into this. That's why we tell you, hey, they were mingled amongst the heathen and learned their works, wanted to do what they were doing, get lost and all that shit. Look. Anyways, let me get out of there. Let's go to one real quick. James 101. James, a servant of a servant of God and of the Lord Yahushua Hamashiach to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Read it. Scattered abroad to the twelve tribes. Not to the world, a world of people who know and believe and to the world of believers who are scattered abroad. And it doesn't say that. It's talking about Israelites being scattered. All right? Dr. Uh, Michael Brown and all you guys. Oh, shit. Carpal tunnel kicking in. Carpal tunnel syndrome kicking in. God damn. Sometimes my hand cramp up like that, man. It actually feels good to try and put my hand like this because it retains the heat in certain sections. I never knew these birds could look up like that. It's crazy. So, yeah. It says to the 12 tribes scattered abroad, right? And why? Because we were doing wickedness. And we went back into a thing. We wanted to serve these other gods. We wanted to run after the other gods. We wanted to look to see how to, how, to, how to serve that, you know? That's what made us go off, man. Acts 2 and 5. Acts 2 and 5. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Still can't get around it, huh? They're still looking for excuses, man. They're still looking for excuses. Whatever you're talking about, Dr. Brown, you're whack, you're lost, okay? And I got a video coming up with <laughs> one of the brothers, Sh Sh Shapa. He had uploaded a video with Michael, well, not a video, a, a post, a community post. Huh? Brother, I had to take that. Man was crying. I don't know if that was the Michael Jordan thing. The... Wow, you see the impatience in these people? This guy's... Fuck, these niggas is nuts. They're trying to get back before it closes. This guy's willing to kill people. That nigga's willing to kill people to get back before the place closed to deliver the shit. Wow. Like I said to people, I said this world is gone, man. It's done. Do the edos. Finish. Okay? All right, kiddo. All right, guys. It's done. The bottom of the the bottom of the bag is wet. It's finished, man. It's too much weight in there. Anyway, it's going back into this. Out of every nation, right? So that tells you that the Lord scattered us, even up to today. You know. You got Israelites in many different countries across the world, right? The Lord just doesn't, oh, it's just one spot, we're going to have them. No, the, the bulk of us is over here, okay? Because it says, by the word, from the west to the east, right? So the bulk of us is over here, you know? Them old gangster niggas, them. Them old gangster niggas, them. The Lord just keep them alive long for some fucking reason, you know? <laughs> like my pops, and I'm my real pops. My pops, I ain't even gonna mention nothing. Forget about it. Forget about it. So anyways, let's go back into this. That's why we tried the spirit, man. A lot of people, oh, you black, black only Israelites. No, no, no. You got that wrong, god damn. You got that wrong, man. You know black only is like nothing. You're scattered amongst the whole world. And like I said, the seed, the seed comes from the father. The sperm comes from the father. The lineage comes from the father. The father is the progenitor. You know? No. Senior no, recruits, I'm just curious. What do you uh what preaching you to the about? Israelites? Okay. Israelites only. This this Bible only came for Israel. It didn't come for the whole world. Like what they say with John 3.16, that God so loved his son that he sent him for the whole world. But you got to check out the words inside of there because the words in there is not talking about this whole world. It's talking about a certain elect people. So okay? this isn't a very common way in the Bible? 
No, this isn't a commonly known thing to the people around the world because they've been influenced by another doctrine, falsehood. You see, when people got this Bible, they placed falsehood on it. They took pages out of this, they took the Apocrypha out of it, and they want to teach their message. That's why in 2 Corinthians it tells you that beware that even Satan himself is transformed as an angel of light, right? So their message is being blinded by Satan today. Because you got these places like the cha uh, Catholic Church and all that stuff. The scriptures clearly tell you that you're not supposed to go into a church. You're supposed to be out here on the highways and byways preaching. And when a fellow man walks up, now you're hearing the message. Now you're getting intrigued. Now you want to know more. And this is the way it's supposed to be. Not us sitting in pews, sitting down and some guys up there talking about his fucking college career. I'm Jewish. I don't know that. Yeah, you're Jewish? Well... The real Jews are on this tribe right here, okay? That's what we know through faith. Your people, they don't fit the program. They've never gone through what we've gone through. When you go into Deuteronomy 28 and 68, you've read that before? Do you want to read it now? Sure. When you go into Deuteronomy 28 and 68, it talks about what the Lord is going to do to us. The Lord said he's going to scatter us all over the world, not just in Europa, okay? Because what did they say? They said that, the Jews always knew who they were, right? Which is wrong. When you go into Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4, the Lord said that he's going to wipe your memory completely clean of who you are. You're not going to know who you are. And the Lord, the words of the Lord are true, not the, Lord's, uh, not the words of man. Man can make up anything that they want. But what is written in here is what it says. And that applies onto us. This will apply onto you people. Honestly, because you guys come through the line of Esau, Edom. You're our brothers. You're out of uh, Jacob. You know who I'm talking about? So out of them, we're Jacob. We're the house of Jacob. You're the house of Esau. You understand that? So does this not apply to me anymore? No, it doesn't apply to you because you guys don't keep the law, statute, commandments right. You guys go by something called a Talmud. You know the Talmud? I do. Talmud is dirty. Just like how the Muslims, they got a Quran which they really stole from us because it came from uh, Khadija and it was given on to the um, Arabs so they don't come and invade us because they had over 300 and something gods, man. They were, they were a beastly people, okay? Like fierce. And they were on the brinks of doing something like that. But when it goes into you guys, like how they have a Hadith, they go by the sayings of Muhammad, you guys have a Talmud. The Talmud is nasty. It's a dirty book. Did you ever read the Talmud? Not in its entirety. Holy shit, the Talmud tells you you can have sex with little kids. Did you know that? I did not. Well, God's people wouldn't be preaching that. Sorry, God's people wouldn't be pushing that. You realize that? So some some kind of fraud is going on here. Oh, but not, what if I'm trying to change my ways? What if I want to live? If you're an Israelite, if you're natural born Israelite by spirit, we don't judge by outward appearance, okay? Because a lot of people, they would say, you guys are black Hebrew Israelites. First of all, black doesn't even exist. That's something that came up in the 1600s. When uh, Timothy W. Allen, the so-called, the invention of the so-called white race. There was no, we and you, if we were back, whatever, which we were, because there is such thing as reincarnation, we'd never be calling each other black or white. We'd be calling each other by our tribe, by our father, by our lineage, the progenitor. And that's another thing too you guys always say. You say the mother is the one that has to be Jewish, right? And then therefore you are Jew. That's wrong. It's 100% wrong. The scriptures prove otherwise. I just made three videos about this the other day. Where do you make videos? I want to check out your page. Right here I make videos and at my house and just like the rest I mean, of the like brothers. What, what's your handle? Type KDC. KDC? Yeah, type KDC. Say KC3? No, no, no. What's that? Instagram? Yeah. Oh, YouTube. I don't do that. We don't know Instagram profits. <laughs> we go on. We go on the TV and we, we uh, teach. I see. Okay. You see it there? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you get your message across a lot of people. Of course. Good. That's the way it's supposed to be. Remember in Romans. Let me get this real quick before. What does it tell us in Romans? And some people actually want to reject 
the New Testament. It's all one testament, man. All one testament. I don't care what anybody has to say. Romans chapter 10 and 7, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily the sound went into all the earth, and the words unto, unto the ends of the world. So right now, what I'm doing is preaching his word, and others are going to hear it, and by faith, they're going to come into this. Not by, oh, yo, this guy looks cool, bro. That's not how it's, that's not how it's done. It's by faith, okay? The Lord seals that inside of you. And if you're a prophet of the Lord, you'll be out here doing this. You're supposed to be doing that for the people. So how long you been enlightened? How long have you been preaching for? Like eight years. Yeah. And my teachers before me, 30, 40 years, and their teachers before them, and so on and so forth. So this isn't something that's going to stop. This is something that's going to keep on going until the Lord returns. Yeah. You know? He's because supposed to return soon though, no? According to the Torah, he is. According to the scriptures, yes. He's supposed to return, and that's why we're out here doing our pushing our pushing our best because we know the shit that's about to come down the pipe. It's not nice. All these words in, inside the scriptures are true. A lot of people try to fan it off as, oh, that's not literal. That's fig there is some things that are figurative and literal. When the Lord said that He's coming back with that destruction, it's not figurative. It's literal. Okay. When the Lord said that he's going to come back with clouds, do you know what he's talking about when he says clouds? No? Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, every eye shall see, shall return with clouds. You don't know what he's talking about with the clouds? You ever see those things up in the sky moving very fast? And you go, what the hell are those? And people call them UFOs? They're not UFOs. They're the chariots of the Lord. And anybody who has the understanding from the Most High would be able to dive into that and show you. Just like I'm about to show you right now. I'm not a very religious guy, so all of this stuff... But you're a Jew? Jews are supposed to... What the hell are you talking about? I identify as Jewish. I don't go to shul as much as I should. I so, went to a Hebrew school growing up. I have a very... I'd say... I have a half-decent knowledge. But when you get into specific segments in Scripture, yeah, that's where you... You're like, <laughs> you're like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just Jew. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you eat pork? Sometimes... But I, don't, I don't eat kosher, but I don't mix milk and meat. I don't eat pork. Okay, okay. So let's go into this real quick. Um, Matthew chapter 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why are they going to be mourning? Because the Lord is coming with much destruction. So I got a question. Everyone who's religious believes that they're the kind of people that will be saved come the end of the world, come the rapture. So what is it about your faith that makes you believe that you are that group of people? Let, let's let's show you right now. Let's show you right now. Because everybody can have their uh, belief. That's what the Lord set for these people. The Lord said that the deceived and the deceiver are his. He let them have that way. He made them to be that way. He didn't give them, he didn't give them this goodie. Meaning them knowing who, who the true Lord is. He didn't give him that. He gave that only to his people. And that's why I said only his people can come out here and confess his word. Only his people can do this. Okay? The rest of the world, they're blinded. And you know what they're blinded by? These are the gods. These are the things that the Lord has set for them. Psalms 96 and 4. For Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh made the heavens. Do I have to go more? You want to tempt the Most High? I get the point. Okay, there you go. So all these religions out here are bogus, bullshit. The Indian man's religion, garbage. Uh, Chinese man's religion, Molak and all that stuff, true. You know, that's with them, eh? All these religions out here are garbage. All these people's way of life are garbage. The only true way is right here with the Bible, okay? Not these other religions. These other religions are off. They're philosophies. I heard that from every single prophet for every other religion. No. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you're But they the never shape. can dive into the Bible and say that because they're wrong. There's no, there no power with them. Where's their power? Did their power make the heavens and the earth? No, they didn't. The Indian man. Oh, the flood. 
Which, where do you think they got it from? They got it from the Bible. They all steal from the Bible. Every one of them. They take a little bit here and take a little bit there. Even the Chinese, they have a, a certain version of the Bible. And they're trying to duplicate and copy what it's saying in here. But you can't. You can't. You, you, you have your gods. Okay? That's what the Lord said. All of them. All these nations. We just read it. Okay? So let's go into something real quick, like I said. Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Now, when you go into the word cloud, you're going to think, okay, these things, right? That's what they're talking about, right? Okay. Like I said, you got to go into these breakdowns of these words. When you go into the uh, lexicon, use of the cloud which led the Israelites in the wilderness. Do you know anything about that? When we're being led out of Egypt? Oh, I, know. I say we as we true Israelites. I can't subscribe to you being a Jew, okay? Because you come through the line of Esau, the brother, all right? Do you know anything about Esau? I do. So what do you know about Esau? Sure, I know about the different tribes. I don't know specifically which. I you just said you know about Esau. I told you, man, I don't know that much. I'm trying to learn. That's well, what, what I'm saying is, hold up. The scriptures clearly say that your ye be ye or nay be nay. Do you know who Esau is? One of the tribes is a descendant of God. He's not one of the tribes. He doesn't belong to none of the tribes. These right here are the sons of Jacob. Okay? Then you got the dukes of Edom and the sons of Edom. Okay? They're different. They're, they're, they're our brothers, but they're made to be profane. They're made to be wicked. They're made to go off. Okay? You understand that? They were made to go by the words of God. They got to bring in a Talmud. They got to bring in extra. That is not of the Lord. In fact, the Lord said... Actually, I'll get you here. I'm not trying to argue with you. No, 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 no. I get excited. I got to get excited because this is the truth. You get, the passion is within me. Not the passion of Christ, as they would say. <laughs> That's all bullshit. That guy... Yeah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I love this work. I love preaching. I love, uh, you know, this interaction because... That's what the Lord said to do. Okay, the, in those churches, you won't get this. You get one man standing up there and everybody shut up, put the money in the pot and keep it moving. That's not the way of God, man. That's, that's the way of uh, uh, the devil, okay? Now let's go back into this. Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. As thou not unto his words, these he refused thee and found and thou be found a liar. So you're not supposed to tamper with the words of God. You're not supposed to add on to it. You understand that? Now that Talmud is an addition. You see, the Apocrypha, that was always in there. It's the Bible destruction group in about the 16 or 1800s. They came out, took out Revelation. They came out, they took out a whole bunch of books. They even made... Right, I'm going to show you something. Oh, 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 listen, watch. Slave Bible. This is how, this is how they... This, this is how we know that exactly, through prophecy, who these people are. Okay? Read what it says right there. Select parts of the Holy Bible for the use of the Negro slaves and the British West Indian. They took out, selected, and chose, and said, we're going to put this one here, that one there, and they're going to listen to us. But we ain't going to show them the parts about their power coming back to return and save them. We ain't going to show them the parts about who they exactly are, because if they read certain things, the spirit starts drowning upon you. You understand? That's why you have to read. Read A. It tells you, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Read. Even the Muslims have a word, Ikra. Read, read, read. You have to read. I love your passion. I love if you don't read, it's like us. Look, imagine the, all these streets had signs on them. 
Every time you get to an intersection, you have to read for the next direction of what's going on. So imagine you get shit up this creek and you walk and you ah, <laughs> drunk off of I know everything. This is what they told me, right? You get shit up creek now, you lost. You're like, I don't even, oh, shit. Oh, man, I don't even know. Let me t- try to walk back. You walk back, you end up going down the wrong road this way. So that's why we stick to the words of Yahweh Shem Yahshan. We don't diverse off. We don't use the Talmud because we know the Talmud is not the word of God. When, when you have a book telling people that they can have sex with infants and kids, how could they try and take that and, and blend it in? Okay, It's almost like a slave thing, all right? Taking parts of something else and shifting it over here and making a nice big soup for everybody to drink. Nah, we ain't drinking that soup. That's all right. We don't want that wine. That's the yeah. point. All right. I got a lot of that people away from me. Great okay. talking to you, though. I'm out here every Sunday. Every Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Every yeah. Sunday, you can come out here and see me. What I like, too, is you're not one of those preachers who are always calling people over. Oh, hear my message, hear my message. You know, if people want to hear it, they'll hear it. They're here. Them, We're not trying to force this down your throat. Uh, force this down your throat. Before you go, I was just about to speak this scripture because we even tell you that some of our people are scattered amongst those people in the land of Israel. It's not about appearance, it's about the spirit, eh? A lot of our people are here in the bulk. This is what the Lord said by prophecy he would do. This is why it says that the word will come from the west and be birthed in the west and go all the way to the east, right? And that's how we're going to be drawn. Not what they did in 1946. They just get out of the way, Palestinians, and they just march <laughs> like this. Get the hell out of here. You can't do that. The Lord said that he's going to do a divine work and bring us back. Meaning his son is going to be here to come. First of all, we're going to see the Messiah. Regardless of what anybody has to say. I don't believe that. You think that's going to be in our lifetime? Okay. Looking at, yeah, I hope so. Looking at the prophecies written in the scriptures, the, you know, the thing called the microchip, you know what I'm talking about? It's here. Go to Revelation 13 and have a good read tonight. Revelation 13, start at 16th verse to the 18th verse. And, check it out. and when you want, come back here next Sunday and I will give you the answer. But let me write it down. Let me say Revelation 13. 13. And do you even have a Bible on your phone? Do most people? <laughs> bye, bye, bye. What's going on here, bye? So yeah, Revelation. 13. Was um, so yeah, Revelation 13. Yeah. Go to the 13th verse, to 16. Okay. Yes, yeah, so Revelation 13, 13, 16. Our slack. Wait, hold up. I'm confusing myself here. <laughs> Revelation 13, 16. Start from the 16th verse on the way to 18. I've Googled right now. I don't know. All right, got you. Even if you start from 13, we'll still break it down for you. Keep but, it real. I'll see you next Sunday. Oh, we always keep it real. Do we always keep it real. If you if you can release a video, that's cool. If you just blow my face. Don't worry, you're not on you're not on here. Alright, I'm just making sure just I make, like my face. Just stand back over there, but <laughs> I'm really stand there for a second. Yeah, you're not on there. You're not there. Let, let me stand right there and you'll see. Go look in the camera. Do you see me? Yeah, you I'll see do. my hand or something, right? But well, you can't see me. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't know. I, I respect, you know, somebody doesn't want to be seen, you don't want to be seen, you know. But hold up, stand right there right, real quick. I was going to give you this before you leave. I got one minute, man. Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. For as many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So that's how we know who we are. Because the Spirit itself is bearing witness with us. The church, they never brought out these words like this before. They never brought out prophecy. They never brought out what's going to happen in the end. They're always vague about it. But the true sons of Yashra'ala, the true sons of uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the elect, Lord willing that we be, would be bringing out what we're bringing out right now. The true history, the true, the truth, basically. Not what they're telling you in church and lying to you. And, no, no, no. And the Talmud, no, 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 no,
Take it easy, man. So yeah, we have not received the spirit of uh, bondage against fear. We have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. But anyways, see that? Let's see uh, a couple more scriptures in here. But that was Yapa. That's our job. We, we, we out here to uh, ye them words, man. Ye the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, regardless. And let me get into this real quick. The gathering of the elect. Okay. Let's go to Baruch. I couldn't believe it. Hey, you're supposed to be a Jew. You're supposed to know. You know? You're supposed to know these things. You know? But we know that the true people of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We're here right now, okay? And forget about every man's religion. This is the only true 100% thing in the world, man. You know? All these other people's religions are nothing but garbage. The Indian man, the Chinese man, whoever it may be. The so-called white man with quads. <laughs> Michael Brown. Come on, man. Michael Doodoo Brown. Uh, Baruch chapter 5 and 5. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look toward the east. And look about toward the east, and behold thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in the remembrance of God. And that's what's happening right now. Like I said, the Spirit has blown back into us, starting with Alva Bivens, our Apostle elders, their elders, you know, and it carries on just like that. Because Romans chapter 10, like I said, that faith cometh by hearing. And this word went into all the ends of the world. It didn't, it didn't just stop one spot. It went into all the ends of the world. That's why you have some people in the Philippines speaking this word. That's why you got brothers in the UK speaking this word. Brothers in Africa speaking this word. Okay? Brothers in China. Uh, Where's that place? Of, uh, fuck, I forget the name. But all these brothers are waking up through the word and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the Lord said that he's going to gather us from where? The west to the east. And where did the word pop up first? In the west. All right? So the Lord is gathering his people. He's gathering his children, man. He's gathering his elect. And like I said, Romans 10 and 17, that faith cometh by hearing, right? Our song went into all the ends of the world. It didn't just stay stuck. Oh, shit. I hate when this happens, man. See if I could just hold this real quick. Carpal, carpal tunnel syndrome kicking in, brother. Hold on, we got some more. So that Romans chapter 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, barely their son went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Right. So we know through the internet, through this process, hey, this word has re has been received throughout the whole world. Nobody could say, nobody could come with their excuses no more, you know? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Swap your ears up, bro. So... Who's, who's going to be saved at the end of the day? Like I said, this word is only for Israel. Like I was telling him, Romans chapter 10 and 1. My brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Did he say Moab, Elam, all the rest of them? No. He said that Israel, for Israel, okay? Yashra Allah. Get that up on the page. And that's why I asked him. I said, hey, you go by that Talmud? You know what's in that Talmud, right? He goes, no, I don't know what's in that Talmud. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? In the Talmud is a bunch of wickedness. Okay? A bunch of sloppiness, man. Just getting some scriptures up real quick, brother. Brothers.
There's another thing too. Real quick. How come Pilate looked to the Jews and said, ye have a custom? Watch this. John chapter 18, the verse uh, 39, straight to the point. But ye have a custom that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Pesach, okay? Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? They cried. Then cried they all again saying not this man but Barabbas now Barabbas was a robber a robber and a thief and they're out of him than Yahweh Bashim Yahushai huh they're out of him than Yahweh Shai this is the mindset of our people but going into this why would Pilate look and say you you Jews have a think another geese came and scared it off god damn He's sitting here so humbly. Anyways, why would Pilate say that? Pilate said, ye Jews have a custom. Why is he not saying the whole world has a custom? Why is he not saying us Romans have a custom? Exactly. Because they themselves can make a separation between the two. This, the, the, this book is for Israel, okay? These law, statute, commandments, the way they live their life, it's for Israel. It's not for the rest of the world. Psalms 147. You have not dealt so with any other nation. As for his law, such as commandments, they don't know them. Okay? Roughly phrasing. Acts chapter 13. And then this guy doesn't realize that Talmud is added on. That Talmud tells you you can have sex with kids, yo. That's a dirty, nasty book. Okay? That book should be banished and outlawed and burned. Alright? Then he wants to tell me about other people's uh, religion. Other people's religion and God didn't, didn't make this world, okay? Well, what's so special about, hey man, hey, don't, don't tempt the Most High, man. We could go into it, but don't tempt the Most High like that. God damn. Acts 13 and 26, men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham. Are you going to that word stock? As a matter of fact, let's go into it right real quick. Carpy tunnel syndrome is kicking in, brothers. When you go into that word stock, it's going into genos, tribe, offspring, lineage, family. Okay, when you go into that word stock. So let's go back to this again. Acts 13 and 26. Men and brethren, children of the stock, children of the lineage, children of, okay, progenitor of that family, fathers, right? Of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear, fears God, meaning the whosoever amongst Israel, those people there, okay? Not the rest of the world. Fear of God to you is the word of this salvation sent, right? And that's only to the elect, because the elect are going to listen, they're going to tune in, and they're going to come out here on the highways and byways and perform, Okay? They're going to sing. They're going to sing this one song. And we're all going to sing it on a chord. In a chord. Okay? One accord. Because we're in one body. As it tells you. So this is only set up for Israelites. It's not set up for the rest of the world. Let's go to Micah. Micah 3. Let's go to Micah 3 and 1. Body. <laughs> Look how she has swim she has. Look, see? She's probably wearing no underwear. These girls nowadays say, No, she's straight. But then she can butt up. <laughs> Yo, the girl they nowadays. They thought they are nasty, man. These string don't get fucked off or have juice on it and they say, You know what? No, G string. Let, let, let them ass chicks butt her up. <laughs> Yo, Micah 3 or 1, slack, Yaki. Micah 3 or 1. And I said, and I said, here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, not the heads of the rest of the world, okay? Not the heads of Esau, Edom. The heads of Jacob, see? The heads of our people, right? Our family, our lineage, our stock, right? And ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Right. So is it not for you to know these Bible? 
Is it not for you to know these scriptures? Is it not for you to follow the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? Is it not for you to listen to the prophets? This guy want to talk about these other nations have prophets. Not really, because they ain't prophesying nothing. Okay. And a true prophet is from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Really, a prophet just means one who prophesies before something happens. Yes. Like they had people who could foretell things and you know they had their uh, astrologers and whatnot. But I'm gonna say it again. The knowledge of wickedness is not the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom at any time. Fit that into the pipe, alright? So isn't it for you Israelites to know judgment? Isn't it for you Israel to know judgment? Not these other people, not these other nations. Deuteronomy 5, uh, 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Keep, there, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is wise and understanding people. For what nation is this so great who God have Slakia, who have God so nigh unto them as Yahweh our power is in all things that we call that we call upon him for and what nation is it so great that have statues and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day okay so the oh, fuck so who has these law, statutes, and commandments? Who has this word? Who's been given these, this word, these law, statutes, and commandments? Not these freaks, right? Not the rest of these people in the world, but us, Israelites, the ones on this map, right here, the one on this chart map, <laughs> right? Ezekiel chapter, what is that? 37, because about taking the pole and putting all the tribes on, on that one stick, that one pole, join them together. Take one for Ephraim and take one for Judah and join them together. It's roughly phrasing. Okay. So like I said, we're the only people in this world that's supposed to have this word, man. That's supposed to do these things which are honorable and right in the sight of the Lord. Right? These other nations can't perform these things. The only way they're going to perform it is being, you know, our foot on their neck. All right? And that's how it's always been. John Harkanus. Right? Uh, the, the, the time when we got kicked out of Sumeria and then that guy brought in that uh, king brought in different people you know but hey man the Lord is about to turn things upside down for these people Deuteronomy 30 and 7 is about to touch their ribs right which is Yapa but here it is they walk around the world talking about they us you're not us man you're not us we're the real Jews, all right? We're the real Jews, bottom line. Oh, yeah, 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 let me get back into that real quick. The uh, Matthew. Going to that real quick. I got two more, two more scriptures. Baruch. Oh yeah, yeah Baruch five and five. We went into that already. All right, let's get out of here. Let's do this. Actually, no. Let's go to Baruch four. Baruch 4 and 21. Be of good cheer, my children. Cry on to Yahweh. Cry on to the Lord. Cry on to Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's who you're supposed to be crying to. And he will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. Okay? So this is what we're doing right now. We're on the highways and byways crying on to the Lord. Um, what is that? Second Ezra tells you that the souls of the just complain continually. Okay? So that's what we're doing. We're making the complaint unto the Lord. We're changing our ways. We realize we are married unto the Lord. 
So we stopped, turned back, and I started marching back onto him. Jeremiah 3 and 22. We're, we're the ones returning on to the Lord, okay? We're changing our ways. We're keeping the high holy days. You know, we're not going by no wicked Talmud. <laughs> we're going by the real word, an actual word of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay? And this pleases him and his son. All right? It's the Lord willing that we be of the elect number. So going back into this. My children, verse 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So, hey, this is going to be a, a good thing. This is going to be Yapa. Okay? What else does it say? Hold up a second. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, my, my children, and cry unto God, for he shall remember for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. And like I said, to him, they always said that they knew who they were. They always did, did no nah, man. Every word of the Lord is pure, man. He's not a liar. The Lord said in Jeremiah 17 and 4 that you're going to basically give you that giant backhand that you're going to forget who the fuck you is. He's going to strip you of knowing who the fuck you are. You're going to discontinue from thine heritage. These guys always say, yo, we always knew who we were, which is a problem, okay? Because the Lord is the one who's going to do that uh, revealing of the Spirit back on to you, okay? So it's not about... You know, like these people say, we knew who we were. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. What, what the Lord said is going to happen, that's how it works. Okay? Baruch 4 and, uh, yep, 27. Be of good, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto God, for ye shall remember, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. And that's what we're doing. We're the ones out here seeking him ten times more. That's why we're out here, toes down, as they would say. Ten toes down, as they would say, doing this work. You know? Sometimes we're sick. Sometimes we can't even get out here. But guess what? We'll do videos. You know? We'll do sit-downs. We'll speak on to the people. Because this is... Like I told you guys, hey, this is this is my passion, bro. Not the passion of, uh, as they would say, passion of Christ. Passion of Mashiach, you know. Mashiachim. But yeah, man. Hey, ain't much more to say. I just wanted to do that little lesson right there. Good little lesson, you know. And hey, that was the spirit, man. The Lord had him come up just when I was talking about what I need to talk about. <laughs> So, hey, man, the Wadi Alba Shim Yaw Shai for allowing us to come out here and do this work, you know, the Wadi Alba Shim Yaw Shai. So, hey, with that, I'd like to say, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yaw Shai, Bahashem Rakam Kadash, double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well and are worthy of their double honors, and peace and salutation to all the Akim out there doing and pushing this word. In all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide, and a sincere shalom to the elect. Lord willing, till next week, Akim, keep pushing, keep that fire burning, keep it going, you know? Soon, even even that, uh, you know, it could be Edomite, even that guy perceived that we're in the end, you know? And truly, we are in the end, man. And he, fuck, I was surprised, he even said, I hope, it, I hope it's soon. <laughs> I hope it's in our lifetime. Yeah, we our hopes is that it's in our lifetime, man. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai return and do his good work, man? And with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, about Shem Rakakodash. Lord willing, until next week, Akim. Shalom.